Hello guys, Adam here from Pause Games and welcome back to Planet Zoo. So today we're going to take a look at the brand new update 1.0.3 which just dropped this morning. So if you're going to enjoy this video, don't forget to give us a like down below and also subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the latest content and news coming from this game and plenty of others. So this massive over 5 gig update um, dropped this morning and it contains over 400 fixes and updates. And now that I will put the full list of updates and bug fixes down below in the description and also a link to the forum post um, which you can have a look at if you want to get into more detail. Uh, but today we are going to cover just a few of the, uh, the main bits and pieces and sort of my favourite updates. And also there's a few uh, updates to the sandbox and have given us some new options for customization, which we will take a look at in game in a few moments. So just to sum up the update, as I've mentioned, it does contain over 400 fixes and updates. Um, they've condensed all of the fixes down into a bundle of information, which like I said, I've posted down below, uh, where you'll find a number of fixes for crashes, water treatment balancing, and loads of new options for sandbox mode. So that's where we're going to start. So let's jump into an empty park and have a look at some of the new options. <laughs> Okay, so here we are in a beautiful new biome that we've not actually looked at yet. Um, and we're going to have a look at some of the sandbox features. So, a um, new series of options to customise play have been added, including power usage, water treatment, fence degradation, um, and a few other bits and pieces. So, let's have a look at how we edit those. Right then, so you need to go into settings and then go into game. And then you can see all of the new settings down here. So the class as current save settings. So in animals, we've got dis disable animal aging and birth. So animals will stay the same age forever. Disab disable animal death. Uh, disable fights. Disable illness. Disable death through aging. Uh, disable welfare and also disable animal predation and fear so it stops them hunting each other so some good options there so if you want to put all that on you can do make sandbox a little bit easier um, in guest settings you can uh, limit the number of guests and then have a sliding scale of maximum from a ten thousand down to five hundred uh, maximize the guest happiness and hold it there so they'll always be a hundred percent happy uh, maximize the guest energy again they'll always be 100% energized uh, guest education will be set to maximum uh, you can stop guests being hungry thirsty and needing the toilet and um, so I guess if you don't want to put any toilets in your parks I, I assume uh, economy settings then we've got uh, disabled staff choose to quit uh, they may still be fired um, you can disable the staff happiness at degradation so they will never become unhappy uh, you can make them that they will never become tired um, and then also walls will not degrade and fall down uh, everything that requires power will be powered for free so you don't have to put in any stupid power station things uh, and all bodies of water stay clean so again you don't have to put any uh, water treatment in so some great little features that let's be honest should have been in the game from launch but it's brilliant that they're pulling in this quick and listen to the player feedback as that's the the main key really from a sandbox mode, you know you shouldn't have to worry about all this gubbins. Um, so it's really good to see that they've actually listened to the fan base and put in some of these changes. So that's really really good to see. So we'll point out a couple more of the updates and fixes. But like I said, I'm not going to go into a full list of this. Um, to, to read all that, have a look down below in the description and follow the link, and that'll take you to, to the full uh, the full list. Uh, but a few bits that they have updated so they've b uh, balanced out the water treatment facilities so they should now clean dirty water more efficient effectively this was an issue i found in one of the campaign modes uh, that even though i had about six different water treatments on one body of water it wouldn't clean it properly it, they still had areas that weren't clean and it was giving me constant headaches um during that so i i'm not put it to the test but i'm hoping that's been fixed um in fact i'm gonna ju let's jump into a campaign now and just double check if that has been updated okay so i've jumped back into the great caldera safari park so this was the one we were playing last week and we actually gave up on it because we couldn't complete the gold um 
the gold objectives. However, one of the main issues I had in this park was even though I had loads and loads of water treatment on this main body of water in the middle, it would always remain uh, green. So I couldn't I couldn't clean it, and I was constantly giving us updates saying the animals were getting ill and bacteria and all that kind of stuff. And no matter what I what I did, I couldn't fix it. So according to the new bug fixers, they this should have been balanced. So um, clean water. Dirty water should be cleaned more efficiently. So let's play the game and let's have a look in the heat map and see if it's been fixed. And it has, thank God for that. So yeah, this whole central body of water couldn't, I just couldn't clean it. Uh, and you can see I've got plenty, oh yeah, I said six, but it's not that many. So I've got four water treatments on it. Two at the edge and two in, directly in the middle of it. Uh, and I couldn't, could not get it clean. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, yeah, no, it's good. I'm really happy. I'm, I'm glad they've actually fixed it because it was in this sort of this kind of green colour here, uh, and it was constantly giving us issues. So yeah, wonderful. That's one thing that has been fixed. So uh, another UI fix that they have mentioned, which is hopefully something that has been fixed because it's bloody annoying, um, is the uh, issue where pressing X to um, bring up the the sort of movement tool was often just crashing and wouldn't work and X just wouldn't respond so you had to close everything down start it all again so now they're saying fixed a further instance that could cause pressing X to stop toggling between rotate and movement modes hopefully again that has been fixed because it's very frustrating and it's something that never really happened in Planet Coaster at least I never found this this bug um, but this is the second time now they've said that it's been updated so fingers crossed it's finally been fixed because it's bloody annoying Okay, so apparently they've also added a new fanfare when you complete a community challenge, so when you get a reward. Um, they have updated the terrain system for putting down bins and donation boxes, so they should now be easier to place, so that's a good thing. Um, fix the missing torso when using avatar costumes on slim female avatars, that's not something I ever come across, but it's quite funny. Uh, and then a few other bits, um, they've added some new audio things, so they've added a, a new ambient, well, added mu new ambient music tracks, that's good, we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Added a new submix for headphones and stereo usage, so when we play we do have headphones on, so we'll keep an eye out for that as well. Uh, crowd variations and individual reactions, more of those have been added. Uh, fix an issue with ambient speakers self destructing self obstructing sorry and muffling the sound so I've seen a few bits online about the ambient speakers not actually working so that's great and they've also added more variations to animal sounds so like I said there's plenty of other stuff so if there's other bits and pieces that you've been playing and come across and you're thinking why haven't they fixed this they might have done so I, I do strongly suggest you go and checking out the full list of updates uh, like I say it's down in the description and there's also a link to the forum page uh, which lists it all so I recommend checking that out um, it's, a it's a beefy one it is like I said it's over 5 gig of a download this one so it's quite a big piece of update um, however as always with these kind of things it's great to see that they are constantly updating this game and listening to the feedback and putting in all these little fixes here and there and also adding new features which is great as the game is only really like what two weeks old so it's good to see that they have made this much progress in such a, such a short space of time it's really good to see and hopefully more of this to come um, as always if there's other bugs and, and, and features and, and issues with the game that you are finding that haven't been fixed in this update or if something else has happened since um, I, I must suggest going over to the frontier forums and logging it with them because if you don't tell them there's an issue how are they meant to fix it um, so please go over to the forum and log any issues uh, that you that arise on the game uh, since this update because it's the only way they can fix stuff. Um, right, that's going to do us for today. Only a very quick one. I just want to jump in, show you a few of these uh, updates and just basically give you a, an update of there is a new update to download. I said update about four times. Um, so that's going to do us for today's video, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, don't, to get, uh, don't forget to give us a like down below. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our content. Uh, but if you fancy a chat, head over to Twitter or Discord. All the links are in the, uh, in the description below. But for now, guys, thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.